Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, my name is Shannon. I am the Soda Stitcher from Minnesota and I'm here to talk to you about cross stitch. Um, specifically today will be my kitted projects that I have. Everybody sounded like they were very excited to see that and then I have a bunch of haul that I have like on a pile so I'm just gonna go ahead and show that to you guys today. Um, and then when I do regular updates, I can obviously then show them it then. Um, first, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm blown away. I am so, so thankful for the outpouring of encouragement and support. Um, my first video was so successful. I never imagined um, that I would get that many subscribers and that many views she's crazy <laughs> um in just six days like i am so beyond wowed i think um i looked a little while ago i was at like 760 60 subscribers and over 3.6k views like what <laughs> i i don't know i can't even imagine i can't even like Thank you all. Thank you so much. And all of your comments and um, messages and stuff, you guys, have all been so amazing and I'm so thankful. Um, okay, so I am going to start with kitted projects. I have one of those three-tier rolling carts here. I, know, I can't lift it. It's kind of heavy. Um, two, the two bottom shelves are full of kitted projects. And then the top one has a couple things that are haul, but... Two of them are also um, kitted projects. So, are we ready to start? I'm so excited. Okay, now Maggie's here. She wants my attention. Okay, so I'm going to start with the top shelf, or the middle shelf, and um, I am going to just kind of pull a few out here. Okay, so my first one is... The Snow Queen by Owl Forest. And I have it kitted up. So obviously all of these are going to be kitted up. So if I say that, just ignore me. Um, so I had bought this as a PDF from the Owl Forest website. And then um, I had bought the Flosses through um, 1884 Stitchery. And so I got those. And then... I was thinking, like, I've never used opal fabric before, but I thought this would be really cool. Um, now, the thing that I don't have yet are all of the jewels. So, they don't sell this as a kit anymore, but what I would read somewhere is, like, once you have it finished, just go ahead and take it with to, like, the craft store and find jewels that will work. So, that's what I plan on doing. But I actually had a custom um, piece of fabric made by Beast. <laughs> Maggie. Okay, she's looking all innocent. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I had a piece of Opal Lugana 28 count made by Bee Stitch Me, and it is gorgeous. There, that's probably more true. Maybe a little bit darker. Let's see. There we go. It's beautiful, and it's opal. I don't know if it's, yeah, I think it is picking up. But it's going to be perfect for this. A little bit lighter than they had, but I think it'll be great with the colors. So, sorry, I'm getting a little glare. If I don't have the window open in front of me, then it'll be very dark in here. Um, so I'm super excited about that. And then I thought I had, I think I have another one of these, but I don't know where it is in here. Okay, next is actually, um, it's not kitted, but I have it in my kitted because I wanted to keep the pattern in here. Um, this is a Love You More Studio sleeve. It's, I think it's the bigger size. Quiet. I need to lock her up, apparently. Um, but I had won this on Michelle um, Bendy's, um, one of her D stashes, and it's so cool. It's an older chart. Um, the needle workshop. I think it's pretty out of print. I don't know. But Michelle surprised me and sent me it inside the sleeve, which is perfect, which is why I have it here, even though I don't have 
um, fabric or floss yet, but it's staying there. Okay, next is in this bag, and this is by the 805 Stitcher, my friend Tara. She's an incredible bag maker. Um, and so this is Teresa Kogut's land that I love. Now, I had fabric made, I'm pretty sure when this came out, Brandy by Be Stitch Me like made a custom fabric for it, and I actually got that. It's called Homeland, and it's a little bit different, but I think it's going to be beautiful. Let's see if I can get the real color. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then in my bag, I did, I think I have all the flosses in there. I'm pretty sure I have all the flosses in there. I just need to start this. It's so beautiful. I've seen so many people finish this, um, and I love it. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to keep these all organized. Okay, the next one, I have no idea. It's in a so much to love bag. What's in here? Oh, okay, so this one isn't really kitted either. Um, this was a so much to love club um, bag, bag club one. And it came, I think it went on January of this year, if I remember correct. Um, it came with a exclusive chart by Summerhouse Stitchworks called Delft Blues, which I freaking love Delft blue colors. I love blues a lot. I love blues and I love like Tiffany green or Tiffany blue and um, those shades too. So beautiful. So even though it's not kitted up, I kept it in here because it matches. Um, and I need to remember because this would be like a super fast little stitch. So yeah, and that's why that's in there. The next one is Quaker Snowflakes by Hello from Liz Matthews. Beautiful. And I do have this one kitted up. I did not use Haunted. The haunt piece of Picture This Plus Haunted that I have was a lot darker than this, and I really wanted to go for that turquoisey green color. And so I picked up at Stitchville Picture This Plus 36 Count Lock. L-O-C-H. This is the first time I had ever heard of that color, but, and then I'm going to do it with the called for NPIs. And I will probably start this closer to fall and stitch it all winter because we have a long winter in Minnesota. So that would be really cool. Um, I just love that fabric color. I felt like, I feel like I should have bought more of it because I could totally use it for several things because it's that beautiful. Oh, here it is. I have the Queen of Hearts as well. Um, PDF. And then the flosses I ordered from 1884 Stitchery. No fabric for that yet, but. Okay. Next, I have, I have a lot of my kits in these Amazon bags. And then when I start them, I put them into pretty bags. Um, anyways, this one is by the Blue Flower, Bloom Amidst the, Amidst the Winter Snow. And I'm having a memory problem, but I think that this can't, pretty sure that this did come in the Black Needle Society Christmas box for, from last year. Yes, it did, because we got the fabric, which is driftwood from Color and Cotton. And then we also got the flosses, which are beautiful. Ugh, sorry, floss mess. All right. So I'm terrible, apparently, about holding things. There. How about we do this? That's better. So yeah, that's beautiful. That almost looks like a pretty fast stitch, too. 95 by 130. Yep. Oh, the... The colors that were not included in here were all the DMC, but I actually have the entire collection of DMC, so I haven't bought any of those. Um, I just use what I have, and then if I need another color, I just run to like Joanne or Michaels. 
uh, the next two are from Black Needle Society, too. Um, so, yes, I was definitely right about that. The next one is um, by Tiny Matters. It's The Season to Sparkle. Cutie patootie. And all of the called for. The called for fabric is... Venetian, no, Venetian Storm by Witchelt. That color palette's really pretty, too. So, yeah. Yay. Oh, don't want to drop any. Okay. So, then the next one is by Michelle Bendy. And it is Winter Witches. I freaking love that. So cute. And that came with the called for 18 Count Mirage Ada by Picture This Plus. That's a gorgeous color. I'd love to have more of that in my collection. And here are the colors by Color and Cotton. And then there's DMC as well, um, including a 12 Blanc, so that'll be pretty, but gorgeous. Beautiful. All right. Oh, this next one I got from Stitchville. They had the a shop model. I fell in love with it, um, so I bought it. And these ones aren't cheap. Um, it is one of the Nora Corbett Christmas trees. This one is from 2010. I love those colors because I, I just love like the really light blues and it came with all of the classic colorworks Belsois, silks, and all of the beads. So yeah, I have never used Belsois, so I'm very excited to try that. Yeah, look, these were limited edition, but I know that 123 Stitch still carries or gets them in. This was the last one at Stitchville. Um, so I don't think that they'll be ordering anymore, but I ended up getting, um, I was looking for a fabric that I thought would look good. And so, um, Debbie, the owner of Stitchville was helping me and we found this. It is fabrics by Stephanie winter wishes, 32 count. I think that's going to be pretty. That. I've never used fabrics by Stephanie either, so that's very cool that I got that. I need to go to Stitchville again. It's been, gosh, when did I go there last? Probably six months ago, and it's only an hour from my house. Like, what am I waiting for? <laughs> okay, next one is Plum Street Sampler. I've had this one since I got back into stitching. Um, like I shared in my last video, I it was in 2019 that I um, really started getting into stitching again. I'd done it years or off and on through the years, but I don't know. This one's just so sweet, and I kind of like her butt. <laughs> I think it's so cute how it sticks out. I know it's not really her butt. I know that that's how the dresses were back then, but oh my gosh, that's cute. Now I do not have the flosses, but. I have a lot of flosses in my collection because I'm a hoarder. Um, and so if I don't have like a lot of these, if I don't have certain flosses, I will, when I pick it up, decide I want to start it, I'll look through my flosses, see if I have, all, have them all. If I don't, I'll order them. If I can't find them because I know there's a shortage, I'll just sub for something closer. But I bought, what does it say on here? The called for fabric was natural northern cloth, northern cross linen, which I have no idea who that's by, but I ended up getting just natural linen. It's, a, it's not northern cross; it's just natural, is what Stitchville has it on, um, and so I think that that will be really pretty. Gosh, I should start this. I think I'm gonna keep this one out. I mean, I should. It's been since 2019. And it's summer. Wouldn't that be fun? That's a good summer start. I think I'm going to do that. I'm saving that one out. And I'm going to put it somewhere else, not in the pile, so I don't accidentally put it back away. 
that one go over there. Okay. This one is Nutcracker, the Nutcracker by R.E.T.M. I think I'm saying that right. I, if I'm not, I'm sorry. Um, this one, I love Nutcrackers. I collect them. I have a lot of them at Christmas time that I put out. And so, obviously, I fell in love with this one. Um, and I have, oh, I got the call for, so the call for fabric doesn't look anything like the picture. The call for fabric is Opalescent Lugana Silver Mist by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And I ordered it. I did not get it opal, though, I don't think. No, it's definitely not opal, but that's okay. Because I don't know that I want opal with this. Yeah, I think I chose not to. So that is the called for color, which looks nothing like it, which I think this is going to look much more beautiful with all those colors. So, yeah. And I think, was, were these DMC? Yeah, these are all DMC, so that's cool. Just a second, I need to take a break and take a drink. Yum. Is anybody else, like, obsessed with shake shops? I have one, like, two minutes from my house, so I got a shake for lunch, and then this is the... Grape blow pop tea. You should try it. Look up a shake shop near you. Okay. This one is. Oh, Chessie and Me Quaker Huswife. I bought this one at the Stitchery Nook in um, Osage, Iowa, the last time I was there. And I'm, I did not, they did not have the color for fabric. A lot of it is like classic. It's all classic colors and weeks, which I think I have most of those colors. But um, it calls for vintage flag stone by Lakeside Linens, and I couldn't find it anywhere, and I ended up ordering it from Traditional Stitches. So that is the call for. Looks a little cooler toned on the picture, but that's pretty true to what. I think it's so pretty. I just love that the different grays with the like corally color. Super pretty. Okay, next one is I love this one. La di da Miss Mary Mac. Adorable. Um so with this one I I think I ordered some silken colors. Silk, I think that was this, the silk I ordered for this was what I'm using for Gather Here by Liz, hello from Liz Matthews, the smokestack that has the variegated brown to black. Um, but I think I want more of a black black with this. So I'm going to have to order that when it comes time to starting. This border looks like a bear. Look at that. Eek. Her crazy hair and who, you know. Miss Mary Mac, Mac, Mac. I mean, we've all done it, right? On the back of the bus seats with our friends on the bus. Oh, and I brought this one, this pattern to the stitchery nook to get some fabric. And I ended up going with 30 count cappuccino. And I'm thinking that's a week's dye works. But look at it, it's like nearly, nearly perfect. It calls for sparrow linen by Birds of a Feather, but obviously we can't get that anymore. But I think that this is perfect. So yeah. Oh my gosh, this is making me so excited looking through all of this. I should really start this one too. I think I'm gonna keep it out so that I can order some silks that I wanna use so that I can start that soon. All right, oh, this next one. Mm, I love it. This one is, I think, quite out of print as well. It's by Four Oaks Designs and it's Rhapsody in Blue. 
I don't have fabric picked out for yet. I'm for it yet. I'm thinking like I don't know. I don't want anything that has any brown tone to it. And I have some like lighter cream grays, grayish colors in my collection. So I'll have to dig through and see what. But the flosses that I chose, um, like I said earlier, I love the Delft blue colors. So I ordered color and cottons Delft blue for that which I think is going to be stunning. Yay. I should keep this one out too so that I can um, pick fabric. This one's actually, it's got an actual picture, not a print on there. I wonder if the chart is like, I'm trying to, holy moly, that chart is like teeny tiny. I'll definitely be scanning that in and putting it on my iPad so I can see it so my eyeballs don't hurt. Um, full disclosure, I can't remember. Nope, I think I had these glasses before the last video, but a couple weeks ago, I got myself some bifocals. Can't see, but wow, what a game changer. It was just a small correction. And I was so worried that I was going to have a hard time getting used to them. Like, I don't want to trip and fall on any curbs or any of that kind of stuff. But I literally had a tiny bit of a headache that night. And then I have not had a problem with them since. But wow. It's just a tiny bit of correction. I still use my magnifier. But if anybody's thinking about it, do it. Okay. Ooh. This next one is awesome. So this was out of Punch Needle and Promoted Stitcher Magazine, um, fall 2019, and I printed it, I, I have the online subscription, so I printed it, and it's Enter If You Dare by the Primitive Hair, and you know I had to get the fabric to do it, oh my, and this would be so freaking fast, like why haven't I done it? Oh my god, that's so cool. I will pull that one out closer to fall and just get it done. And I would definitely keep that up all year long because I love all that spooky, crazy stuff. Cemeteries and all the things. Okay. Next one is Quaker Pumpkins by Hello from Liz Matthews. I do not have fabric picked out, but I did order all of the flosses. All smushed from being in there. So I did order all the flosses. I don't know if when I do it if I'm gonna put that the All Hallows Eve or if I will just end it with the pumpkins. Either way, yeah, I may, I'll probably do that. I'll probably stitch it. But either way, beautiful. There's some. I think it's what color is this one? Gunmetal. It's a little grayish, blackish, and then, yeah, they're all beautiful, but I have all of them. So hopefully, maybe a late summer, early fall start. All right, the next one is, I don't have fabric for this one yet either, um, All Hallows Eve by Joan Elliott Designs that came out last fall. Oh my gosh, that's huge. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah. 138 by 318. They did it on 14 count. I will not do it on 14 count. If I do it on 8, I'd do 18 count. But I probably most likely will do it on 40 count. Um 40 count linen. But I grabbed the flosses. I did anchor black because like that one's that better than 310. So I did get all the flosses and I have them in there. I'm sure. I do have some fabric that would probably look really cool. What is it called for? It was Pull Stitches Designs Taboo on 28 Count Lugana. I've never even heard of that. I'll have to look that up. Because that is a really pretty fabric. Like blues and yellows. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to look them up. I should put to keep this one out because I actually wouldn't mind doing it on that same fabric. So I'm going to look that up so I can remember. 
All right, next one is Loved by You by Hello from Liz Matthews. Pretty. Um, I am going to do it with, I have the two skeins of coal, Weak Style Works coal, and I got the Cloud Ford Weathered Shingle. That'll be super pretty. I want to put that up in our bedroom. Again, this will probably be a pretty quick stitch too. Just do it, Shannon. Oh my goodness. Okay. The middle shelf's done. Oh, wow. Okay. Bottom shelf is... Pull some of these out. All right. The first one on the bottom shelf is in a cute um, Mama Joan bag with black bird designs fabric. And this one is Small Token by Blackbirds Designs. And this one actually, um, my friend Anita, um, Fiber Nook Anita, borrowed to me. Um, so I probably should get that one done and give it back to her. Um, but I just, I picked out this little piece. Um, oh, my nose itches. I got this on at um, Stitchville. A lot of times they'll have like littler pieces, so I thought it was really pretty, so I got it. It's 32 Count Pictures Plus Highland. And that was what I was going to put it on because it's just a little guy. I'm going to keep this out so I can stitch it and get that back to her. Okay. <clears throat> All right, next one is Fendi Stitchy Designs. You're okay. I love it. You're okay, I guess. Sounds like I was something I would say anyways. And I picked out, I must have used this on something else because I, um, Changed the sizing, but Toast 18 Count Ada by the Stitch Me, which I think is going to be really pretty. Yeah. Next one is Filigram Moonlight. I love this. I'm going to take this one out because I remember I threw a couple fabric options. And maybe you guys can help me figure out what, what you think is best. So this, on the cover, it looks like more of a grayish. I don't have anything that color. It is vintage. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Vintage Country Mocha, which I did put in here. I forgot about that. But this doesn't look anything like the picture and I think it I feel like it's too brown for me so that's I think now I remember that's why I put a couple of other options in here because I didn't know if I liked that I also pulled out mummy by be stitch me so vintage country mocha mummy let's see if I can hold all these okay And then I picked out Fresco by Picture This Plus, which I feel like out of all of them, more closely resembles. Maybe Mommy too, though. Uh, I'm kind of talking myself into Fresco. Leave me a comment what you think. Yeah, I think Fresco, but Mommy's cool too. I don't think Vintage Country Mocha at all. Okay. So let me know what you think in the comments between Mummy and Fresco. Okay. Thanks for letting me talk through that. I don't know. I'm going to keep this out because I'm definitely not using that. I'll put that back. I'll keep this out too. All right. So the next one is... I think this was a Needlework Expo release, Heartstring sta Samplery Grounding Force. I love that craft stitch is my grounding force. It's so cute. And when I got this, I picked out a couple fabrics too for this one. Oh, three of them. 
Okay, so I picked out Shadow Linen by Picture This Plus, which I like because it's not black black, and I think that'd be super pretty. I also grabbed Blackboard Linen by Bee Stitch Me. That was so glary that I don't want to take them all out. A little bit lighter. I think it's showing up lighter on camera than it really is. And then here's another one that's very similar that's a little bit darker by Bee Stitch Me. All right. Let me see if I can hold all of these up. Trying to tilt it so you're not seeing so much glare. Gosh, I think I'm going to do shadow. I think the other two are too light. I don't know. Let me know what you think. If I were to do the big stitch me, I would use the darker one. I'll be between these two. Let me know what you think about this one, too. Yeah, let me know what you think. I mean, it would be pretty. The light one looks more skyish. If I didn't want it to be, like, dark, dark sky. Yeah, I like them both, actually. Let me know what you think. This one is Shadow by Picture This Plus. This has a no-name Bee Stitch Me, but it's very similar to the Blackboard. So let's call it Blackboard Shadow. Let me know what you think. That's so cool. I mean, really, what will we do without stitching, especially in this last year? I'm going to keep that one out since i got to decide fabric. Alrighty. Next one is Cottage Garden Samplery's Witch Board. Let me know if you, anybody's play, you played witch, with the Ouija boards when you were a kid. Oh my gosh, I did. And my friend left a Ouija board at my house when I was probably, I don't know, 14, 15 in there. And oh my gosh, I put it in the closet because I was scared of it. <laughs> and I was still scared of it, knowing that it was in my closet. Also, because I had seen the movie Witchboard, old, old movie from maybe the 80s. Oh my gosh, that was a good movie. But so, of course, I had I was fearful, but I think that this is awesome. Okay, the fabric that I chose is actually an even weave, I maybe even Monaco, I can't remember. This is one I like was playing around with um, um, dyeing, and I think it looks pretty good. But now, what's the dimensions? Oh, this is going to be too small, I think. But I have some more fabric so I could dye it just like this. I do remember what I did. So it was pearl gray with some black and a little bit of brown or something like that. I do like that. So I'm going to definitely dye some to match it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Silly me didn't check the dimensions before I threw it in here. All right. Ooh, this is one I'm really, really excited about. Oh, I have several fabrics in this one, too. The Witchy Stitcher. Oh, my God. I freaking loved the Freddy Krueger movies. Literally loved them. Recently, I bought um, Apple... TV or my Apple account had a duo pack or like, you know, when two movies come together bundle. The original 1984 Nightmare on Elm Street. And then they redid one in 2010 based on this first one. Now, I don't remember liking the other ones. I think there's maybe two, three, and four after that. But so I think it was around Halloween last year. Um, I actually got them and watched them and loved them just as much as I did then. Okay, so what I plan on doing, she gives instructions on how to make the, like, streaking underneath the, the, um, the letters. I love the hearts are like Freddy Krueger sweater colors. <laughs> and she has a... Um, posed with 
some finger knives. That's awesome. Okay, so I pulled up. Oh, I pulled out three. Okay, so I have the October 2020 Fabric Club from Color and Cotton. This one is called Corn Husk, which might be nice. I'm trying to remember if you have to like antique the outside too. Let's peek quick. I think the directions are in here. Yes, found them. Of course, the last sheet. Okay. Eh, come on. This is a PDF on her Etsy, so. All right. How to antique your finish. Coffee and tea dye, watercolor paint, ochre, reddish brown, and dark brown, large round paintbrush in water. And then she gives exactly what... Um, instructions to do to antique it and then below she has the dripping letters instructions with a black water color paint Ooh, that's that makes me nervous though eee! that makes me real nervous but literally can you really screw it up i don't think so because you want it to look that that crazy look kind of gives it a spooky feeling um so yeah I have all right back to fabric all right so um, this one was corn husk by color and cotton then I pulled out honey by be stitch me which is a little bit darker and I felt like it almost matched pretty close and then once you know then of course do more antiquing or I pulled out Lakeside Limit Linen, Lakeside Linens, 40 count exemplar, but I don't think I want to do that. This is 40 count. This one's 36 count. I mean, any of them would be fine, but I feel like these two match the color more. Probably this one now that I'm looking at it. Let me know what you think. I think it's between Color and Cotton, Corn Husk, and the Stitch Me Honey. Let me know what you think. I'm going to keep this fabric out because I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to keep the whole thing out too. I kind of want to see what you guys have to say and then I'll put one back. All right. This one is the Blue Flower Huckleberry Farm. We've all seen it and love it. And I had ordered the shale fabric. So I don't have the, the flosses yet, but at least I have the fabric. I should start this, it's so pretty. So or so or pretty. Oh. All right, the next one is by Hello from Liz Matthews and it is her a lot. Which is super cool because um, if you've watched her, you'll know that she uses a blue fabric and then attaches it to the white fabric, which is super neat. She used fog and arctic linen, and I have both, and I don't have it in linen. I have it in 18 count, yeah, 18 count data. So I'm ready for that. She used MPIs and then she has a DMC conversion too. I think I'll probably use DMC on it. Maybe, well, never mind. MPIs don't have variegation. I was just going to say maybe variegation up by where that I spyglass or whatever that thing is called up there. But anyway. I'm excited to try putting that together. She gives very good instructions. So. All right, so that is everything that I have in one of these bags. All right, so 
then I have some kitted stuff that are in packaging. And this one is Nitka Moscow. It's um, with Barbara Anna. It's that Christmas tree. She did the tree of magic life. I showed it on my whip parade. But this one is Christmas tree. And it, they have everything kitted. They always, their flosses always come really neat braided. Those are pretty colors. And it is stitched on, I don't know what the color is, but it's in here. It is this blue. Oh, I'm getting all kinds of lint. So yeah, I need to finish the other one first. They come with needles and then all the instructions and stuff are in there. But yeah, I need to finish the other one and then I can start this one. Oh boy. Let's see how well I can get this in there. All right. Next thing I have is from Owl Forest Embroidery. It's the Swamp Witch Kiki Mora. And I love her because it reminds me of the swamps and bayous in Louisiana. It's super fun. I love their little kits too. Cute needle minder. All of the flosses. The fabric. Cutie patootie. So yeah, and what is this? This is just a little informational sheet about them. And they come in a cute little box. I ordered this maybe last fall. It took a while to get here, but it doesn't bother me a bit because Russia's a long ways away. So. All right, next is a Dimensions, getting long. Um, Dimensions Gold Collection Petites, and this is the coffee shop kit. Pretty colors. I probably will just use the regular Ada because it's pretty much full coverage. It is full coverage. 18 count white Ada. All right, the next thing I have is the Sweetheart Tree Tiny Periwinkle Floral Sampler. Love that. It's pretty. It comes with the beads. These um, little floss rings are like ivory or whatever. Opal, ivory. I don't know, whatever that fabric is or that. Rocker. No, it's not rock. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, then I have three Mill Hill kits. The first one I have is it's dusty. Whoops. Um, buttons and beads, haunted mansion. Anything haunted, I love haunted houses. Love, love, love them. And then I have a stitch in time with a tomato pin cushion. Speaking of tomato pin cushions, I have quite the collection. I might have to show those on a video. And then the other one is the needle workshop. Now, yeah, I was just thinking to myself, never mind. Sorry about that. Okay, and then the last thing, last thing, you believe it? is Dimensions Gold Collection Santa Stamp. And this is an oldie. Old, old, old. It does not have, it has the flosses, not on the cards, so it's definitely an original. 2002. Oh, I love that. I love vintage Christmas stuff, like, a lot. 
He's handsome. All right. That's all of my kitted projects. That's a lot. Wow. Um, I do have two more things that were haul slash kitted. So I'm going to show those now. So I signed up for the uh, Satsuma Street Wizard of Oz. I'm just going to show you this because I don't have anything else to show you. I know the border was released. I haven't started on it yet. Um, but I chose Sea Glass Linen by Be Stitch Me, which I think is going to be gorgeous with all of the colors. You can see the color palette. Beautiful. <laughs> My writing on there as I'm trying to calculate the fabric count. So I have not gotten a start on that yet. Sad. Okay, and the next one is oh, I don't have it in the bag, but so um, Alexis and Michelle and I also, and I'll link them below um, Michelle Bendy and then Alexis. Um, I'm losing my mind. I can't remember what her Instagram is. Alexis underscore. I can't remember. Mind is gone. Um, we bought the Yule sampler together. Because we're... I love, you all know, the Primitive Needle. I did Hoodoo Voodoo, and I'm working on Mystic. And then I also have the Hollow one in my collection so I was working on colors because I do not have all the colors for this so I was playing around with I don't know I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on one you see if I can lift it I picked out I think that this is color and cotton cottage stone if I remember and then I was playing around with the colors originally I pulled um a brighter red and I didn't like that so now I have the Merlot on the bottom this one it just fell so I'm playing with the colors I pulled out this darker green because I did not like <laughs> I did not like these two greens those are the called for on there but I just feel like they're way too bright for they're just not crispy enough to me so I'm still playing around with colors. I'm going to get that started and finished soon so then I can pass it along. But I love it. I'm so excited. Okay. And then, so I have a bunch of haul, which is going to be excited to go through. Um, and so I bought two of Palm Street Sampler's new patterns. Now, um, I think that they're in shops now. Um, if you're a patron of Farm Girl Loves Goats, Michelle Rudy, um, she gave, um, she's the one that leads the Midwest Cross Stitch Retreats, and she gave us patrons um, pre order access, or her and Paulette did, um, that we could order, and then Paulette would ship directly to us. So I ended up buying, of course, I had to keep the Paulette thank you sticker, the Equality Sampler. Of course, because I'm almost done with the Heritage Sampler and I have a new constellation, so I had to get this. I love how big that flag is. So cool. And then always remember. And I love poppies, and they look like poppies to me. So those are the two that I pre-ordered. I think there was a few more. Um, but I'm getting really good about making sure that I wanted to stitch something before I buy. Go me. Um, then I bought some bendy flips from that Michelle had. She sent them to me with a little note. And let me tell you guys, if you're on my Instagram, you probably know that I love bubble tea. I love tapioca pearls. Those are called boba. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Obsessed with milk tea. One of these days I'll make it and show you because I do make it at home. So she is a patron of Teal Teacup and one of the pins that she got 
was this cute little one? <laughs> a little kitty cat and a boba cup with a big straw and the tapioca pearls. And she said she knew I had to have it, which I did. So isn't that freaking cute? Now, I want it to be a needle minder. So I had to figure out how to cut off these little pokey things. Has anybody done that? You'll have to let me know. Maybe I need a grinder. I'll probably bring it to my dad, maybe. He's got all the things. So I love that. Thank you so much, Michelle. Um, and then I chose this cute bendy flip. I love using these in small projects. Look at that one. Cute. And that one. So now I have some extras because I have several whips or projects that I did by spots. Floss especially for that I don't like pull out of my collection. So that'll be perfect. Okay. This one, you guys. If you're anywhere around my age, I was born in 75. I graduated in 93. Did anybody else play Oregon Trail? Now that's what we said it back then. I know that it's pronounced Oregon but we said Oregon Trail back when we were in school. And I saw somebody on Facebook Marketplace selling the pattern for this taken out of this magazine. Now, I paid for it, and then the lady realized that it was only half the pattern, so I didn't get it. But... I found the magazine. It is from, it's Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. And it is July, August 93, which is funny because that's the year I graduated. Um, so I had to get it because you know I have to stitch this. How dang cool is that, you guys? Bring it, there we go. Bring it closer. Literally looks like the game. I'm pretty sure I died of dysentery like a million times. But yeah. Has anybody seen this or did you even know about it? Because when I saw it, I got all kinds of giddy excited. Yep, I sure did. That's a keeper. Okay, next is from Threads and Twined had a sale, so I picked up a couple things. Um, this one is by Michelle Inc. Needlework Designs Quaker Gone Haunted, which I love all the cemetery things. I love all the willow tree things, which that's probably not a willow tree, but it's a crazy looking tree. I got that one. I have another one by her too. Quaker Gone Spooky maybe. So I grabbed that. And then this one, George and Martha which I was, I've been eyeing up for a long time. So I grabbed that. And then I, Windy Stitches just stitched this one and it's super cute. Ink circles after the roses. I think it's so beautiful. Maybe I'll start that after I finish my Reflections of New Orleans because I don't know if I can have two of these going at once. Um, and then the last one is Little Summer Sampler. And this one is a sal that's going to be starting on the first day of summer, July 21st, maybe. And you know me, I'm losing my mind. So just a little side note, one of my post-COVID long hauler symptoms is like short-term memory problems. So that's why I blank on a lot of this stuff. I'm getting better. But I do have a little bit of a rough time like remembering certain things like that, unless I've it written down, which I'll probably do for next time. At least I'll try to remember. Um, I'm pretty sure it is Emily C. of Eclectic Possessions that is hosting the sale for this. But I will put it on the screen or in the notes to let you know for sure. Um, I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to change the colors up. I think I, I like the flowers that they're bluish, but I think I want to make them bluer and maybe do the letters a different kind of blue. I'm not sure. I need to look in and figure out what I want to do. But 
I'm sorry, I'm forgetting who's doing the sale. I feel, I feel ridiculous that I can't remember. It's awful. Okay, then this next pile is a score off of Facebook Marketplace um, in the Twin Cities area, and then I asked her to ship, and she shipped. So it's a lot of vintage books. Some of it I'm not going to um, stitch and I'll use for giveaways, but there's some good things in here too. So the first one is Cedar, Cedar Hill Country, an old, old leaflet. This one is BG's Quilting Bee, Quilt Patterns for Cross Stitch. <laughs> I just crack up at the staging of all this old stuff. So funny. The next one is... Home by Roseanne Hobbs. Home where you can be silent and still be heard, where you can ask and figure out who you are, where people laugh with you about yourself, where sorrow is divided and joy multiplied, where we share and love and grow. And I actually think I'll stitch this one. It is beautiful. Of course, you know, updated colors. These are kind of um, dated. And I actually really like the font of the home however I don't know if I do the flowers or not I don't know I'd have to see but I do actually really like this one and that border is like not something like I've seen before it's kind of interesting sorry somebody's text messaging me and it comes through my macbook the next one is craftways samplers of the heart it's kind of like almost magazine material or no it's kind of a booklet <laughs> Some oldies. Funny. Although I feel like somebody that really loves birds, look at the border, like has birds in it on this bottom one. I feel like some people would maybe like that actually now, just with updated colors. Anyways, the next one is P. Buckley Moss Taking Turns. This one's from 1985. I should be looking to see what year... Oh my god, this one, 1977, that is 44 years old, two years after I was born. This one does not, oh wait, this one, 1983, this one, 1983, oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah, this one is, did I say 1977? No, this one's 1985. And this one was 1985 by P. Buckley Moss. Now, I, I know a lot of people like the designer stuff, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'd ever stitch it. We'll see. Probably be a giveaway or something or a de-stash. Okay, so the next few things, sorry, I got an itch, are very, very cool. Oh, my gosh. So... They had some very old prairie schoolers. This one is Noah's Ark. It is number three in the original cardstock, obviously, and is dated 1984. Now, I got a pretty good deal on this whole lot. And I was like, prairie schoolers? Old prairie schoolers? Wow. The next one is the Bremen Town Musicians. Number four, and this one is from 1984 as well. I mean, I don't think I'd ever stitch these two, but I'm going to keep them for my collection because I do have quite a few original Prairie Schoolers. And then this one is Sunshine and Shadow. Now, I, if I am remembering correctly, Michelle... Bendy had this one on her wall. I think she thrifted it, maybe. Michelle, you'll have to let me know if um, if it's the same. Which I kind of like. I might do that. At... The reason why is when we lived in Michigan, we had a large Amish population, and I actually got to be very good friends with um, a girl named Verna Yoder. Her family owned a bakery, so we always went to the bakery. Her and I got to be really good friends. She'd call me. Um, we'd write letters all the time. I would drive her to the store. 
Um, we had a really special friendship. Now she's moved. I she probably still has my phone number, but I don't. I haven't heard from her in a couple years. I do still have all of the letters, though. It's very cool. So you know, I think that I might stitch this just out of like remembrance of that time, that special time that her and I spent together. Um, her family was amazing. Yeah, like my husband and my kids came and her dad was like doing, shoeing the horses, like hoof thingies or however they call that. She's got, um, she's got a sister that was still at home. She's got a couple of brothers. One was married, so we went over to her house one time. I got to go on a buggy ride to the Amish store and the cool thing is um, they have a ice house that's like a building it must be super insulated very dark that they cut ice out of the lakes every winter and then they put it in there these big huge blocks of ice and they keep it so then all summer long the Amish community goes and picks them up so I got to do that with her it's super cool anyways there's a cheese shop there um, I didn't mean for this to turn into story time but this like had me reminiscent about her so I think I'm going to stitch this for sure and their quilts were beautiful too. One of their neighbors sold quilts. They're very expensive, but so beautiful. It truly looks like her house. Oop. I do have some pictures. Maybe sometime I'll pop them up on here to show you guys. But yeah, or maybe at the end. I'll have to try to find them. If I can find the pictures, I'll post them. But you know, that was so long ago that I don't even have a clue. It was like eight years ago. So I don't know if I have I have to dig. Anyway, moving on, Shannon, stop. This next one is the Best of Teresa Wensler Sampler Collection. I don't know. I'm, like, not a huge super fan of her work, but you're probably going to throw tomatoes at me, people. Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> um, anyways, I do know that one. <laughs> Um, I am almost positive that Kindred Stitcher Lisa stitched that one and has it on her sampler wall. Just a second here. Now I'm going to want to go back on her videos and look. This one. English Cottage Sampler. I'm almost positive Lisa's stitched that one. There are, there are actually, maybe I'm not mad at this. There are some pretty ones. I'm going to keep it regardless because it's super cool. But, okay. So that was what I got in that bundle from Facebook Marketplace. Okay. Next, um, you probably all know, Be Stitch Me does Friday Night Fight Night. Not last Friday, the Friday before I got a piece of fabric. It's beautiful. 36 count linen. And then I also bought Nexus silk. I got 100 yards because I love this. Now, I also got her Aurora, Aurora silk. And I actually would love to try to find something that I can use them both on because the Aurora silk and this reminds me of the Northern Lights, all of the beautiful colors. So, yeah, I don't know. I gotta find something to do with that. But hoarding, you know. All right. Next is um, my, I think that this is, yeah, the May Project Bag for um, So Much to Love. So if you haven't gotten yours yet, turn away for just a few minutes. So this is the May Bag. Isn't that so dang cute? I love it. I'm like obsessed with the big fat jumbo rickrack, but I love that. And the inside whoop, stick is beautiful fabric. And it always comes with some extras every month. So dump them out. So this month we got some beautiful colors of DMC. Some sour candy balls, which I'm excited because I like sour stuff. And she always does a stash tea. I have a collection of these. I need to start trying them. But sweet honeydew actually sounds amazing. 
yeah. And then this is a Riley Blake little tin. And is it magnetic? It is magnetic. So I might actually use it for um, needles. But it says, enjoy the little things. And it came with a little Riley Blake scissor too. Cute. Cutie patootie with little X's on it for cross stitch. That's cool. So that is what came this month. And I love it. I love receiving this bag, you guys. There's some incredible bags. I have like a bunch that I haven't even used yet. It's okay. We can collect. Then I ordered one from her because I fell in love with this. Little bobbins. Who doesn't need that one? I love it. And it came with, they always do a little packet with a little card and then some more stash tea. And this one is acai berry. That sounds delicious. I'm going to have to make that iced. Same with that honeydew one. Yum. And then I ordered Mama Joan always um, periodically posts Blackbird fabrics for her project bags. And I loved this one. So I ordered this in the standard size. I also love how fast I get these because she li lives um, an hour maybe a little over hour from me probably hour and 15 hour and 20 from me I hope to meet her someday I haven't met her yet but and then last but not least oh my gosh I'm almost done do you believe it I went to a thrift shop and I found this gigantic book a complete illustrated stitch encyclopedia you guys this is big and heavy it's huge I mean look at compared to my head size um, but it has, it actually has, um, in addition to, I think there's charts in here too. Yes, there's charts in here. In addition to how to do stitches, there are charts in here. This is cool. These are neat. Look at these ones. Stitches we've never heard of, or I've never heard of. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of the charts are pretty old looking. Oh my gosh, funny, funny, funny. <laughs> um, this book is from, let's see. here. I think I paid like a dollar fifty for it. That's crazy. This book is from 2001. 20 years old. And it's published by Crafter's Choice. But yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. You guys, how many minutes is this? One hour and eight minutes. Oh my gosh. I'm a talker. You'll find that out about me. You probably already have. Um, I have quite the mess going. I have a lot to clean up. But, um, like I said, you guys, so thankful for all the subscribers and comments and shout outs. I mean, I'm sure there's people that shouted me out. I've heard that, they, that people have seen it on many floss tubes and I don't even know who. Um, so if you've shouted me out, let me know so I can give you, you know, thank yous, proper thank yous. Um, but yeah, I still can't believe that my subscriber count went up that fast in six days. That's like something that I would never would have expected. But, um, as I said on Instagram that I wanted to do a giveaway to thank all of you guys for my 500. I thought, great, I got 500 and then now, I wonder if. What was I at? At 760? I'm at 779 now. Maybe it was higher than that. I don't know. 3.9K views. Like, my mind is blown. I actually feel quite spe speechless about it. But I thank you guys so much for that. So I wanted to do a giveaway, which is underneath all my stuff. Okay. So I have a, had this in my collection and I don't think I'm going to use it or stitch it so I thought it would be perfect because it matched. So this is an older chart. I don't even know the age because I haven't opened it but it is from Textile Reproductions 
Materials for 18th Century Needlework. I don't know if that's the name of it. No, the name of it is Hannah Lester Sampler. Which I think is super cool and actually could be really beautiful in different colors. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry that part of the chart was showing. I don't think you're going to be able to get anything off of that. Um, it's actually a handwritten chart. That's how old it is. And I'm going to pair it with, it's so Emma Floss Bitties. I do not, I'm a bobbinator. I do not um, use floss thingies or rings or any of that, floss drops. So I won't use these. Um, and I think I got it in a So Much to Love bag. So I'm going to give those to you guys and then pair it with that. So that'll be my giveaway. Um, all of the rules, you must be 18 and um, don't say giveaway. But just comment. Um, comment sampler if you would like, if you're interested in the giveaway. Um, that way I can do a search for the... Um, word sampler in case some of you are not interested then I give it to somebody that would like it so yep comment the word sampler I'll do a random generator thingy my bobber um and pick somebody before my next video I have some ideas for my next video well Julie Kansas City girl in a Colorado Colorado world wants me to do a flip through of all my um a, a Christmas cross stitch Christmas books I have a lot of the years but I'm going to start doing the regular updates you know like whips plans hauls all of the things um, as well so stay tuned for that again I appreciate you all I really really appreciate you all and thank you so much for watching this one too um, I'd love for you to be subscribed and you know all the things like and comment and <laughs> thumbs up um so yeah i'm going to end this here and thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you all bye, -bye.